Hey, my name's Nick. I'm with Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. We are the number one Class B dealership in the state of Florida and number three in the whole United States of America. How, how we do that in little old Gainesville, Florida, you're going to have to watch to find out. No, we just sell more Class Bs than anybody else. That's what we specialize in. That's what we do. We are experts in all things Class B. Service, repair, parts, sales, inventory, everything we do revolves around the Class B lifestyle, the Class B RV. I love it. And so today, it's pretty cool. I'm going to be showing you something pretty unique. It just kind of started coming to the market in the last year. This is a 2023 Winnebago Solus PX with a pop top. So the pop top kind of brings back memories from all you hippies that are watching this of the Westphalia, the old Eurovan, that pop top that you guys have been asking for 20 years. I want another pop top. Nobody made one for like the last 20 years. And now all of a sudden everyone's on the bandwagon. Well, let me tell you this, Winnebago's doing it right. This is the 21 foot ProMaster chassis. It has the pop top, it has the air conditioner, it has sleeping for four people. It has seat belts, real seat belts for four people. So you can take your family, not my family, I have four kids, your family in this coach and camp, work, live, do homeschool on the road, whatever it is you wanna do with a class BRV, this Winnebago Solus is engineered to do so many cool things. So in this video, I'm gonna go over all of the advantages and the features of a brand new 2023 Winnebago Solus. Something else that's very unique is the new Dodge Pro, or the new ProMaster chassis. So they upgrade their chassis, like 50 new things on the chassis with a new transmission, push button start, new this, new that, new everything. So we're gonna go over the Solus, we're gonna go over the new chassis, and we're gonna go over how great Winnebago is, how great this product is, and how there might be a way that this would fit what you're looking for. So we're gonna go through this whole coach. Stay tuned, watch this video. I think you're gonna love it. All right, so now I get the chance to show you everything that is so cool about the Solus. So if you've never heard of a Solus or you've never experienced one, Winnebago has made a bunch of information available on their website. And there's also a really cool app called How To Solus. I didn't know Solus was a verb, but Winnebago has made it one. But it's an app that goes through everything in the Solus, front to bottom, top to back, whatever, front to back, top to bottom. It goes through everything in here, showing you all the cool features of it. I probably won't be able to cover as much as they do, but I'm gonna attempt to. Um, really cool, nice big opening. I really like the big step here. A bunch of little W's on it for Winnebago. Every chance they get, they throw that W somewhere. Every chance they get. I think it's pretty cool, actually. Um, but nice big step. I also noticed the propane fill is right here. So easy when you're pulling in somewhere to fill, but also you can hook up a little propane grill straight to the tank so you don't have to carry a separate tank if you want to use a little propane grill. So you hook up straight there and you can use it to where you can grill. So really cool location for that. But nice big door here. Um, what's cool is this fridge. So the location of the fridge, you can access it from outside. So if you need to grab a drink, need to grab an egg, there's like eggs things here if you need to grab an egg for something. Um, a drink, the freezer, everything is right here. And if you're inside the coach, it's easily to be to be utilized as well 
inside or outside the coach. So I really like the location. You know, when you're camping in one of these, a Solus or anything of this sort, your goal is to be outside. It's not to be inside. They're not made, like some of the big ones are made to be inside. This is made to help you enjoy the outdoors. It's to help you utilize everything that's around you. So that's why this is made. It's not made for you to sit in all day long and hang out. So that's why the fridge gives you access to the outside. Um, also something pretty cool. So you always have this screen here. And what's neat is there's a screen here that very easily drops down and you zip and zip. And now you got a screen here. So bugs don't get in, dogs don't get out, bears don't get in, I don't know, animals, whatever you want to call it, but very nice. And then you, I mean, you can still use it back and forth. So easy to come in, easy to go out. So I like the screen and when you don't want to use it, you just leave it up and it's not in your way at all. It's not like taking up a lot of space. So great use of space from Winnebago, but I like the screen. I like the outside area. This is meant to enjoy the outside, but I'm going to show you everything on the inside of it. Even though we're meant to enjoy the outside, there's still a lot of cool stuff inside this Solus that has that pop top. So let's jump inside and check it out. Okay, so finally, we're inside the Winnebago Solus. This is the 59 PX with the pop top and the air conditioner. Thank God, I can feel a little bit of it. Um, it is mid-August and we're in the swamp in Gainesville, Florida. You can feel it outside, but this is great. This is great if you're outside hiking and you come in for a breather, you grab a snack, you grab some AC, and you're ready for round two. So pretty neat. Um, first, before we get into the Winnebago part of this Solus, this is on the ProMaster chassis. So for the last you know five, 10 years, they've been building things on the ProMaster chassis. There haven't been a lot of changes to the ProMaster chassis. It's been pretty much the same. This year, ProMaster changed the game. So 2019, Mercedes upgraded, 21, um, for transit upgraded now 22 ProMaster has made the same types of upgrade to their chassis so some of the biggest ones that i think are leaps and bounds better than they were before is push button start something so minor like push button start. i hate finding the key flipping it out putting it in going I, I, push button start is where it is at so push button starts a big one um, the other ones we have are the nine speed automatic transmission electric electronic parking brake electric power steering um, some of the cool cab conveniences are the the blind spot and the crosswind detection parking sensors um, a full color cluster which is really nice um, the seven inch navigation uh, touchscreen radio uh, wireless charging pad push button start obviously full speed forward collision warning plus um, there's also pedestrian automatic emergency braking, post-collision braking. Somebody made a comment on our YouTube video of the Travado, and they said they want pre-collision braking. They don't want post-collision braking. I'd have to agree with them. I think it does both. Um, and then uh, upgraded dash air vents, leather steering wheel, and, and just uh, the nine-speed transmission is a huge, I'm gonna put my phone away now. Nine-speed transmission is a huge upgrade um, it just feels smoother, better gas mileage. I really like it. So they change it. I like these leather seats too. This isn't something in a, a Solus you could get before, but I really like these leather seats, how comfortable they are. And you can just look at the dash, all these USCs and USB charging ports. I like how this is a video monitor here. Obviously you can turn it off if you want, but you can leave it be a video monitor to wherever you're at. Lots of cool features on the dash lots of cool driving features full auto you know digital everything up front so they're just catching up to transits to sprinters and making this something that is on the same level playing field chassis wise all right so now winnebago so winnebago one of the top selling one oh it's always winnebago thor i don't know they sell more class b's than anybody in the country i'm not sure which one um but we're very proud to partner with them you know i i'm a I love Winnebago and their desire to get better, their desire to always ask questions. I was, I was meeting with the president of Winnebago uh, a couple months ago and he was asking me about service and asking me about kind of what we do to differentiate Sunshine State RVs from everybody else in service 
and then, and then how we take care of our customers. And I told them about the Sunshine State Elite Club, how you guaranteed service appointment within five days, concierge service where you pick up your coach, bring it back and forth if you live within 100 miles. The walkthrough we give is so detailed and thorough. Uh, we put you up at a campground for a couple nights when you buy an RV from us. Lots of cool things, but that's what we do to differentiate. So that's why it's, it's such a good fit with Winnebago. They have all their videos and apps on their website to really help the ownership be a positive experience, not just, I have an RV now, I don't know what the heck to do. Now you actually know what to do. So I like this cockpit area. I like how this Solus kind of has this. Oh, it just locked in place. So now I'm sitting at a table here with two other seats. So this is where your children can sit, your friends, your friends' children, real seat belts. They also have the harnesses so you can put a car seat there and strap it in. Um, those harnesses are very, very crucial to people that have car seats because this is good. The harnesses are the best, the best way to make sure that your car seat is safe and this Solus PX has it. So very comfortable seats there, nice comfortable seats here. This thing moves, everything kind of moves and swivels around. Um, I like that this thing can also move. It's, this one squeaks a little bit, you can tell it's new. But this thing moves as well. You know, if I'm working from home or from my RV, this is a great place to sit here and work. There's also another place in the back, but if I'm sitting on one of those seats there, I got my windshield, I got my windows, I got fresh air, I got a great view, and I'm getting some work done for my laptop. This is a great place to do that. So lots of flexibility here. This is, you know, lots of flexibility outside. You know, just a very simple, easy, instead of bringing a tent, this is your mobile tent. This is what you can camp in. Put two kids up top um, to sleep, two people in the back to sleep so it can sleep four very comfortably and then you also have seating for four like i said earlier so lots of cool you know i even like this like you don't have to store your shades your shades are stored here like like it's there and when you want to open it you just open it you don't have to go fumbling somewhere find it velcro it up snap it up like it's all here you know so lots of cool stuff i did mention earlier about the fridge so the fridge you can access from here or you can access it from outside um, so lots of options there. As we continue to walk towards the back, I think you're gonna just fall in love with that Murphy bed, the bathroom, and just everything else the back of this coach offers. So now you can get to see the rest of this Winnebago Solus 59 PX. So I've already showed you the seat here with the seat belts. And obviously one of the biggest attractions is this pop top sleeper. Nobody wants to see me climb up in there, but there is a lot of space in there. There's a lot of windows, there's fresh air. If you unzip those three things, lots of fresh air in there, lots of natural light where kids can, my kids, would never want to come out of there. Like I, that's where they'd want to hang out. I'd have to yank them out of there to get them to come down and do anything else because that's just the coolest thing ever. Um, but really cool. Uh, there, 
everything, all of the control panels are right here. So, so Winnebago has the, this comes standard with 200 watts of solar on the roof. So pretty neat, there's a pop top, but it does have solar to keep your batteries charged. So very cool feature. You got your tank heaters, your Truma system, which is the hot water, and then you have your generator. So the PX is the only Solus that comes with a generator. So it is an Onan generator. It is a ultra quiet. It is, it is the first generator to ever be approved by the National Parks Foundation to be used in national parks. Um, I tell the story all the time, about a year or so ago, um, we got our first class B in with this really quiet generator and my technicians had never heard of it. They didn't know they were coming out with it. And they, they thought the generator was broken. It was so quiet. So they came and got me and said, Nick, we got this brand new RV in. The generator's broken on it. What do we do? I said, let me hear it. They told, they, they turned it on. I was like, no, this is the new quiet generator. It's, it's a game changer. So this has that brand new quiet generator. It is so stinking quiet. You cannot hear it. So it has that, that generator powers the air conditioner, powers everything in the coach. So very neat that it does have that. Um, so all of that's controlled right here. Very easy to use, very simple. And part of our deal, we give you a walkthrough. We teach you how to use everything, spend as much time with you as you need to learn how to use everything on your coach. Um, so very neat. This is the kitchen area here. So Solus does have an app and we'll put a QR code on the screen to where you can download the Solus app and get some questions answered. But you know, it's cool stuff like ducted heat in the shower and the rear annex, and they'll show you pictures and kind of how, how to use all that. But the cool thing about the kitchen here is you have, even though it's a small RV, it's a small ProMaster, you have a nice kitchen counter. And then you also have this little area here. This helps extend your counter out to where you can actually, you can put your loaf of bread here, you put your ham, your cheese, your peanut butter, your jelly, make your sandwiches, everything you need to do right in this little area. So I like the feel of it. I like the flow of it. I'm a big dude and I can move around very easily in here. Um, you know, something else pretty cool. They got these stores, but then check that out. It stays up by a magnet. So very neat. Magnets don't typically give way like latches do. Um, so very neat. I was, I was, uh, you know, it's the little things in life that impress you. So I like how that works. I like the sink. You know, some of these sinks have this little tiny um, faucet right there, and it's hard to get stuff under, underneath it. I like how it has a big faucet to where you can actually put stuff in there, wash it, clean it, whatever. 110 plugs, nice carrier here. So there's little drawers everywhere, right? So we got a drawer here, got cabinets, cabinets. This is your hot water heater. So you turn it on here and you preheat it before you want to use it. So that way, you know, my kids turn the shower on, they let it run for 10 minutes while it heats up. I'm like, guys, it doesn't take 10 minutes to heat up. You're wasting water. But here you can turn it on preheat. It gets the water hot. Then you use it and it's instantly hot. So it saves water, saves energy, saves everything. So great, great little feature there. Um, bathroom. So Got your kitchen, turn around. Oh, look at that. The Where's Waldo, you know, I always say. So this is a good towel holder. Um, it's a good little reminder that you're in a Winnebago. Um, very neat here. So this is the bathroom. So I like how it has a nice big door. Um, guys my size, which I like to think I'm an average size. I'm not above average. Can fit in here, can sit on the toilet, can take a shower, standing up, sitting down. Here's the shower head. It does stay up here. There's also a bar here that you can hang clothes from, hang your towel from when you're not in here. There's a little secret compartment to put your soap in, um, your toilet paper, whatever it is you need. But very neat area here. Plenty of room to do everything you need. Press the button, flush the toilet. Um, you know, I can easily close the door, open the door. So lots of, lots of space. You know, in a small RV, you like to know that the bathroom is gonna have plenty of space for you. Um, then there's a little mirror in there too if you wanna look at yourself. As, as we walk through here, there is more storage here. Another one of these fancy magnet things, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so this is the coolest part of this RV. Eh, the pop top's probably one, one of the cool things. The new Dodge chassis is another cool thing. 
the seat belts right there are another cool thing. This is one of the coolest things here. So with this bed up, this Murphy bed, you have tons of space, right? You can put bikes, you can put kayaks, you can put, um, probably put a dirt bike in here. You can put um, all kinds of adventure gear. You can put so much different stuff. There's straps, there's hooks, there's rails, there's compartments. This floor is made to be wet. It's made to be dirty. It's made to, it's made to handle whatever it is you want to put on this floor. But what's neat is lots of space. So you open these doors, you can throw anything in here you need, right? No matter what it is, anything you need to throw in here, you can. Then when it comes time to go to bed, you can even leave it there on the floor. You just drop this thing down and you have what Winnebago calls their Froley system. This is the same bed that's up in the pop top sleeper. So they didn't cheapen out in the pop top sleeper. They didn't, they didn't just put a wood board and then a little mat. Like they went all out and made sure that this was very, very comfortable. So you have a bed, look at that. And then even guys my size can jump up in here and take a little nap or sleep through the whole night. I gotta move my feet a little bit. So six foot tall, 239 pounds today. Can sleep on here good. There's plenty of room for somebody else. This is a queen size bed. So I'm a little crooked right now, so you can't really get a sense, but lots of space. It's pretty comfortable. Got your AC right above you. So really nice. And then, and then you can have, you know, I've heard of people having their dogs sleep underneath them, uh, litter boxes. Um, I mean, shoot, one of my kids would probably want to sleep under there if I gave them the option. Kids are like the craziest little creatures in the world. The stuff they think about and come up with and places they sleep and things they want to do. I have an 11 year old that just comes up with the craziest stuff you can ever imagine. So this is also, you know, I mentioned earlier, you can work from home up front or you can do it back here. So if you want to set up a little chair here, you can have a little desk. If you have your kids doing homeschool, you know, I met a family the other day that brought their two kids on the road in one of these and they just did homeschool and they did like a real true life his geography class for like two months in one of these, like the coolest thing ever. Um, but, but if you need another desk or something, you have it here, you can set up a little chair, have a little workstation, there's plugs and USB ports everywhere. Um, so very neat little table here. And there again, they're just not gonna let any, any space go to waste. They're gonna make sure that, uh, that, that you can use everything in this RV. So when you're putting the table up, drop this down, and now your table is totally out of the way. So you, they don't waste space. They don't waste compartments. I mean, like even this, I was just noticing this. There's a drawer in the middle of an area. So really neat. There's also cabinets back here. You know, we had someone the other day put some lithium batteries in there. So lots of cool features there. You got little compartments here, little compartments there. Um, and this is really neat. Check this out. So this is under the floor here and here. So really cool. You can fill that with all kinds of gear. You know, we went to the big Winnebago convention they had in Savannah, Georgia, a few months ago. And one of their, one of their things is they know that people that spend the money to buy one of their class B products, they, they have expensive toys and they want to make sure that they give you spaces to protect and keep your expensive toys and gear safe um, out of the elements and in an area that's locked up and protected. So I thought that was a pretty cool value of theirs that they, that they wanna make sure that whatever it is you have can fit in here and be safe. So there's these like cool little hooks here, um, little rail systems, there's four of them, there's two on the floor and there's three here, one on the ceiling. Um, you can strap bikes. I've seen people put their bike, two bikes in here and strap it here so you can sleep in the RV with your bikes in the RV at night. So if you're mountain biking somewhere, you don't have to leave them outside. You can put them here. Um, you can put your canoes, your kayaks, your stand-up paddle boards, whatever it is you like doing, it can all be stored here. So something else that's pretty cool, I know we've, we've uh, talked about the goal for this is really being outside, not inside, right? So there's a, there's a big screen here um, that also comes down the other side. And what that does is when these doors are open, you can enjoy what it looks, you can enjoy your view 
and have a screen as well. Um, I also like how they build in, let me strap this back up. I like how they build in the shades to the, to this. So this is at night how you would do it. And this is how you would do it during the day. So you're not having to store these shades anywhere, right? You, you, you leave them here and you just zip. So very nice how they zip, how they unzip. So really cool. Um, we're actually going to switch spots. So that way you can see the way this area back here looks. So check this out. Okay. So as you open the back, you can really see how much space is back here where there's, there's space to go through here on here. I love this floor, how dirty it can get. But what's unique is Winnebago has brought all of the water inside the coach here. So you can have hot and cold water. So this little, this little quick connect right there goes in there. And this is, this is a, a hose. So you can use this outside. You can use it inside. You can clean your dogs with it. You can, you can clean down whatever gear you're using, your bikes, your surfboard, whatever it is. This here can be pulled out, I don't know, 10 feet out there. Use hot and cold water. So very neat there. Um, all of your water, your water fill is in here as well. So you fill your tank, you close your doors, and this helps you be able to camp in cold climates. This helps us become a three or four season coach, whatever they call it. But having everything in the coach rather than outside the coach makes it to where you can camp in colder climates. Um, you know, I mentioned the screens, I mentioned the annex. So the, those, those bars right there, they can also come up right here and you can hold that up and you can drape towels across it. So this and this can also come closed and we can do just like this and we can drape towels across it. There is also a screen thing that can lay here and you can use this and you can take a little shower out here. And there's a cover that goes here to give you privacy. So if you're in the middle of, you know, the Ozark mountains or the middle of Moab, and nobody's around you, you can shower with the drape there for privacy. You can shower right here, right? So really cool. I've seen people do this and drape their towels, their, their wet suits, their, any of their stuff over this, their wet clothes. So very neat how this area, and like I said, they think of everything. Like they literally think of every possible way you can use this RV. So there again, this is the Winnebago Solus the 59PX. There are multiple versions of this. There's a P, which is shorter. There's a non-pop top. There's a pocket, which is even shorter. So there's a lot of different versions of Solus's. Um, jump on our website. We have every single one. We have the P, we have the PX, we have the non-pop top, we have the pocket. We have every single Solus possible. I love the Solus's. I love the flexibility. I love everything that they can do. And I think as you get to know them, you'll find one of the Solus family RVs that'll fit what you want. So Sunshine State RVs, we deliver free anywhere in the United States. We fly you into to our dealership. We, we put you up in a hotel. We cover everything for you. We want to make this process, if this is what you're looking for, as easy as possible. Part of our Sunshine State Elite Club is we teach you how to use it, put you up at a campground for a couple nights. Uh, we're there with you from not just when you buy the RV, in the beginning when you're learning and then we give you tech support the whole time you own this coach you call us and we will walk you through and help you with any issues you have over the phone over facetime over skype whatever it is for us to help you figure out how to use your coach and use it and then we give you guaranteed service appointments oh within five days we will get you in to be serviced at our dealership within five days that is unheard of in the rv industry unheard of but it's something that we promise our customers that we will do. So check out our website, check out this Winnebago. Thank you for watching this video and all of the other videos we do.